Sometimes it's good to have no plan. We've got a weekend that's lined up with a good weather forecast, a new boat that's ready for some action, and we're within spitting distance of one of my most favourite places in New Zealand to fish. So we're going to load the boat up with a bit of fishing gear, point the bow towards Great Barrier Island, and see where the adventure takes us. And you never know, we might run into a few fish along the way. This is Martin Madness! It's right up there with the biggest kingies I've ever caught. I am stoked. This is a special place, so these are special fish. <laughs> we got a sword! <laughs> we did it, boys! Yeah! Morning team, well after a very early start this morning, Mel and I have made the road trip up to Sandspit Marina and we've launched into a beautiful Haraki Golf. It's Saturday morning, we've got a beautiful forecast just for today, Mel's never been to Great Barrier Island, so our ultimate day destination today, the beautiful spot of Great Barrier Island, hopefully we'll run into some workups along the way, when we get to Barrier the plan is to flick some soft baits into the shallows and just enjoy this magical place that is the Haraki Golf in spring. So, we're burning daylight, I wanna get moving. So we'll jump on, get cracking, get into it team. Let's go. What a morning. So nice to have the new boat out doing a variety of different fishing. We've done the Southern Bluefin tuna, we've had a little play in the workups, and now, just Mel and I, going for a weekend spring cruise it's so cool. The weather looks mint. So we'll kick this Mercury diesel into gear here pretty soon. And we're just going to beeline towards Barrier and see what we can find along the way. Last time I was out here, there's a lot of workups. We're not really stressed about what type of fishing we're going to do today or even how much fishing. We just want to get out and catch a couple of fish for a feed. We'll have a fish wrap for lunch, sip a chilled beer and just enjoy springtime. It's a magical place when it's like this. So we've got to get out there and make the most of it. Let's go. Let's go. Well, as expected, on our way over to Barrier, we've come across some work up action. I was picking up a little, few little patches of birds on my bird radar and our plan was to soft bait first and then work up fish. I was just, uh, there's still a little bit of weather left over from a front that came through yesterday and it's going to calm down throughout the day. So my plan was to do a bit of work up fishing on the way home but if we can come across a good work up and we can see some good snapper sign it might be too good of an opportunity to pass up because we actually want to grab a couple of fish for, or a fish for lunch and I'd far prefer to pluck one out of the workups as opposed to taking a resident fish out of the shallows where I want to go soft baiting. So I'll chase these birds for five minutes. If we can see some good fish on the sounder, we'll drop some jigs. The dolphins are just turning up now so we certainly have all of the right elements that we need. We'll see how we get on. Oh wow. There's barrier mill. So good. Oh, and dolphins. How can you feel in that? What a spot. There's definitely going to be some epic workup action out here today at some point. I reckon we go soft baiting and come back out. Catch a moocha. The wind would have been, and the waves would have been smashing this place yesterday. It's a bit more sheltered than I expected it to be, so where I was going to head is going to be in a lot more of the leeward side of the island, so I think 
Even though there's still a bit of wind pushing in here, we use the Minkota, we'll flick some soft baits and see if we can't get stuck into some fish. I'm very aware of <coughs> getting sidetracked. I don't want to get too sidetracked. But before we get too close to the rocks, I'll just um, jump up and put that Minkota battery on. Ready for some soft baiting, Melly? Hell yeah. Nice. Nice. We'll see. I don't know, it's got the kind of look. I like bouldery bays. You've probably heard me say that before. Guts and stuff are cool for soft baiting, but for, but for me, bouldery bays. All right, get this Minkota down. The little boat is in at Mercury getting a new outboard put on. And <clears throat> that over the last few years, that's become our soft baiting weapon. That, you know, that center console, great for casting. Pretty wet, but awesome fishing platform. So it's cool with this new design in this new boat to have the casting platform up front and to actually have the big boat set up as a epic fishing platform as well, particularly for casting. That was one of the big requirements of this boat. Obviously, a lot of the design is centered around game fishing, but a big part of it was definitely being able to come on these big offshore missions and be able to cast off the bow. When, you, when you're navigating with the Minkota, being able to cast off the bow is great because you can see where you're going. You're not relying on a sounder back here and you, and you can control the Minkota, it's right at your feet. And obviously you've got a massive casting area. We've also got all the space out the back here, the swim platform. So what we need to do is convert all that fishing room into fish. It's still kind of early in the season for soft bait in the wash, but the fizz is way too hard to get on that casting platform up the front and start fishing. All right, we're ready to go here. We're ready to go here, team. In the wash. Oh, just touched straight away. Oh, that was a good bite. Nice and high in the water column. Hit like a freight train. Pulled quite a bit of drag off the old Saltiga, which has cranked up quite hard. So, it might be an action here with our first decent one. Oh. Nice. <clears throat> nice little fish. All right, we're on the board. Does he look like lunch? Hey? Does he look like lunch? I don't, I don't reckon, I reckon our first legal snapper in the efforts of good karma, which is pretty important when you're a fisherman. We'll let it go and just back ourselves to get lunch, eh? What do you think? Sounds like a good plan. Okay, here we go. Send him home. Here's the fish. Lovely start. Actually put up a pretty good encounter himself for a 40 centimetre fish. Lovely. Lovely little fish, funny spots on him anyway. First one back. There you go mate, go back to your rocks. Beauty. We on the board team, woohoo. Get another one. You're on the board team. That's true, I'm on the board. I have to move some rods. I hope we don't regret not keeping that one for lunch. I don't, I'll never regret not keeping it for lunch. We're not completely relying on a snapper for lunch. It's just always nice. It's been a while between fresh fish. One chicken sandwich between two. One chicken sandwich between two, there you go. <laughs> oh well. We meant. We better keep one for lunch then. Oh yep, there we go. Oh, there's a few snappers in our bouldery bay that actually didn't turn out to be that bouldery. I don't think this one's gonna break any records. However, 
We're catching them. We're catching them, team. And it just shows you, don't be afraid. I've said it before, so apologies if you heard me say it, but don't be afraid to use big baits. That's a seven inch baby bass on a 30 centimeter snapper. But that ain't the size we're after. But I'll tell you what, better than mowing the lawns. Come on. Still a bit of wind pushing in here. It's definitely one thing with these bigger boats. A lot more windage. But you can't have it both ways. You can't have a lovely big cabin to sleep in. And no windage. This means you have to be a little bit more organised as to where you position yourself to fish up and close. How's the state of it? State of what? This place. Do you like it? Yes. Mean? Love it. Oh, yep, there he is. This is a better one, Melly. This is a better one. Oh, yep. Boy. There we go. Yes, please. To be fair, I'm kind of just enjoying being hooked up. On our new boat, Melly. Here we go. Another blimmin' fish putting up a very good account of itself. I certainly haven't been shy on the drag. Ah, oh, it's the next, next kind of model up. It's a nice fish. Yeah, that's a beauty. That's a beauty. All right, chipping away. Mally, we're chipping away. We've been here for, I don't know, we've been fishing for what? Half an hour, maybe, max. What I'm mucking around, you've been eating your breakfast. And slowly but surely, getting into some nice fish. That's a beauty, look at that. He's a nicey. Look at that, he absolutely smoked that baby bass. It's a beauty. And I said I was gonna keep the next nice one for lunch. Oh, he's too big, he's too nice. I'm gonna keep backing myself. You can blame me if we are hungry at lunchtime, Mel. Okay, I don't wanna take that guy, look at him, he's a cracker. He's a cracker. It's eating my net. So good. All right, matey, thanks for that. Great fight. Here you go, dude. You're gonna be right. He's off. Oh, we're into it. Come out. I know you're doing an epic job behind the camera, but it's about time you caught one, kid. Another one out of our bay, Mel. Another one out of our bay. Got the drone up in the air. That's beeping at us because the battery's going flat. But oh, we're catching him, team. We're catching him. Here he comes. Oh, it's actually not quite a nice fish. Nice. Probably should net him, but I'll just use my hands there. I want to get that drone in before it blimmin' beeps at me too much. It's bad news for this fella because he's probably about perfect for Melanie's lunch. We've let a couple of his big, bigger mates go. But we'll dispatch him, get him on ice in the Yeti and look forward to enjoying him in our wrap in an hour or two. Sorry about it, mate. It was worth ducking in. And while we're in there, we better get a couple of our exports on ice. What a way to spend a Saturday. Fresh fish wraps and a lovely frosty export gold each. Oh, there he is. Just been working our way around the coast. Feels like a better fish. The wind's actually, ooh, put putting a little bit of string team. The wind's a lot stronger than it's supposed to be. So, we're just trying to find, ooh, little pieces of coastline where we can either get out of the wind or the wind will actually help our drift, you know? Anyway. Ooh, a bit of a string puller. This is a cool bay. I, I was excited about this bay. And rightly so. 
here he comes. Oh yeah, how nice fish. Now we're talking, team. I thought that one felt a bit better. Beauty, beauty. I think he's taken my whole soft bait off. We're on, team. We are on. Look at that. Shit, that's a real good fish. Yeah. Should be more excited about that. Oh, the echo. Nice fish. Look at that. Beauty. That's what we came to Barrier 4, team. We had no set agenda today. We just wanted to come out and enjoy. And enjoying we are. Anytime I can pluck fish like that out of the shallows, it's a good day. Right, send this fella home. Here you go, mate. Get a bit of, oh, he's ready to go. You ready? Come on, mate, there you go. Off he goes. Oh, and look at it. We're in paradise, catching snappers. Just what I was after today. Mmm. Get another one. I'm just on spot lock on the Minn Kota. I love, like I said, I love these bays. I don't know what it is. I never used to like them. I used to always search for the like gnarly guts. Now, I'm all about the bouldery bays. I'll stop saying that. I'll be sitting in my editing room going, dude, stop saying bouldery bays. What have you done, Mel? You on the got board, Kat? On the board. Well, you're not on the board yet. Let's not get oh, too yeah, carried true. away. Oh. Luckily, you've got to release your first one. <laughs> I don't think it's going to break any records. <laughs> Bloody hell. Whoopsie. <laughs> hey, it's a fish, man. It's a fish. What? Here he is. Huge. Huge. See you in a moment. Nice work, kiddo. Well, I promised Mel a beautiful bay for a place to have lunch. What have we found here, kid? Here we are, a beautiful bay. Fishing has slowed somewhat. You've heard me say it before if you've ever watched one of my episodes. The inevitable midday slump. So we found a nice spot to drop the anchor, get out of the wind, Fill it a snapper, make some fish wraps. This looks like just, just the place. Eight. Oh, snappers. And a refreshment. It is Saturday, after all. What do the kids call this these days? Catch and cook. We just call it having lunch. Anyway, we caught. Now we're about to cook. Right, one fill it down. Deserves quiet freshener. Fish wraps as patented, in, patented by my old mate as a founder and chief of just another fisherman. Loves himself a fish wrap. Right, season our fish. Lemon, pepper, salt flakes. Oh, no problem. Right team, this is exactly what we had in mind with today's mission. We didn't come out here hell-bent on catching hundreds of fish. We've caught a few beauties, got one for our lunch. We've got a nice spot to eat it in. And we'll do it all over again this afternoon. And what a spot to be. You like it, Melly? Love it. She's into it. <laughs> so we're winning, team. We're winning. The full Great Barrier experience. How good. The snapper did not perish in vain. Did not. Fish wrap. That's yours. That's yours. We're winning. Hey. Lunch in paradise. How good.
very punch didn't disappoint neither did the scenery we looked at some cool little bays on the way around there i go talking about bays again but i think we'll just stay on this side of the island for the afternoon do a little bit more exploring flick some soft baits into any likely looking grounds that we see cross fingers and toes that the wind will ease and we'll just finish our day exactly how we've been running it all day see where the wind blows us see what we feel like doing but soft baiting is kind of all we're really prepared for in the close here so soft baiting it shall be and then potentially see a work up or two on the way home or even just drop onto some sign with some jigs but we'll get moving middle of the day but not going to catch him sitting here, sipping a beer and eating a wrap, are we? Snapper beware. We coming for you now. Particularly Mel. She's watered and fed now. And she's got that look in her eye like she's ready for blood. So let's go. This is a good fish. Ah! Mel's down the back and I've hooked up to a tank. I'll try and walk down. I don't want to let him, he's taking a lot of string on me. I don't want it to blood him to get me in the bricks. It's shallow here. Okay, let's work, let's work Mel. I think we're spot locked. Yep, okay. Oh, he's seen those rocks there. There he is, he's up high. Oh. Oh, that was a bit of fun in games. I was up on the bow casting. Mel was around here and I hooked up to this beauty. I could see him and the rocks are right there and he's a tank. Uh, look at that fish. Whew. Holy, that's a beauty. That saltiga on the chili dog is such a good combo for this. Look at that. Moocha, yeah boy, yes. Sometimes on these days, we have actually got to work pretty hard for the big dogs. Well not sometimes, when you got to work hard for them, they're that much more satisfying. I was about to go deep and meaningful on you, but it's as simple as that. When you got to earn them like we have today, oh, it's so much more worth it. Oh, that's a heavy fish. Look at it, on the baby bass. I just said to Mel, I haven't changed my bait all day. That's a ripper. That's a solid 15 pound fish right there. You little beauty. Well team, We've had an awesome day exploring Great Barrier Island. Had fish wraps in paradise. We've had some cool fishing. It slowed down a little bit, but we've just come good with that beauty. All right, good fish, for, good fight with this fella. We'll get him back quick as we can. Hopefully he's all right. Come on, matey, you're all right. There he goes, happy as. Oh. Feels good, Melly. Whoo! We worked for that one, team, but we got there in this paradise. How lucky we are to be from New Zealand, man. It never, ever gets old to me. I'll never take it for granted being able to come and fish in a place like this. We are so lucky. Ah, oh, yes! The PB snapper for the new boat team on the Saltiga, here. All right, this day is starting to slip away from us a little bit. So I think we will have a little flick here. And this little rugged bay, and then we'll probably have to start making our way back. It'd be nice, we've probably got a two hour steam back to the boat ramp. It'd be nice to run into a few workups on the way home. We'll play that one by ear as we go, but be nice to try and finish with a, another big snapper. But either way, we've got one now, so it's all good. But I'll chuck them in coda down. 
and we'll see if we can get Manamucha. Let's go. Well, our little rugged bay, head fishing it after all. It's definitely a step down in size from the last model, but the day's getting kind of long in the tooth, so I'll enjoy them all. Here it comes, looking amazing in the water. That's a nice wee snapper. Lovely little snapper, actually. Bloody beauty, the old baby bass. I keep thinking I should change it. And then it proves to me once again that it's the chosen one amongst soft baits. Big ones and small ones. Lovely. One bait junkie caught snapper. How good. Sun's starting to dip, shadows are getting longer. And if you're having a slow day when you're soft bait in the shallows, don't get too dismayed during the middle of the day. It so often dies away. And then once the sun gets a little lower, shadows get a little longer, it starts to fire. Anyway, let's go, mate. Back you go. See you next year. Cool. Hey, Smelly. Yes, she is. It hasn't been the fastest day for you, kiddo. No. Are you doing it? <laughs> it's not a much right. bigger model yeah. than the last. <laughs> it's alright. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Slightly better. Okay. Oop. Gone. Release it. <laughs> nice one, kid. Good work. I just called last cast. Then I did about three more. But it feels all right. It's quite shallow here. We're starting to really push the envelope now for time. But it's all right, the weather's good. We got radars and night vision cameras. And when you're fishing like this, it's bloody hard to go home. Anyway, here he comes. Another humble snapper putting up a good account of himself. She's like, you know, I say it all the time, you get bored of hearing me saying it, but when they live in this shallow stuff, they fight hard. They're used to dealing with rough stuff. Blah, beauty. We did it again, Melly, we did it again. What a way to wrap up the soft baiting today. When I get to go soft baiting in a place like this with my bestie, doesn't matter if we catch one or a hundred, it's a day spent the right way. Here you go, mate. And he's off. Well, team, I think that's as good a way as any to wrap up the soft baiting. We've got quite a long run. We've got two and a half hours of daylight and I want to give us just a little smidgen of time to maybe pick up a snapper or two on the way home. So, we'll whip the encoder up, kick this boat into gear, and get moving. And hopefully, the next time you hear from us is dropping a couple of jigs down on the way home. See how we go. Well team, the sun is getting low in the sky and we've got a big drive. So, we're gonna call it a day. The workup's in the middle of the Gulf on the way home. Haven't eventuated, but that certainly hasn't dampened the spirits because it's been a magical day out here. And any time you get to go to Barrier and explore the spectacular Haraki Gulf is a good day in my books, especially when you add in a couple of beautiful fish in the mix. So, that's a wrap team. If you've enjoyed this episode, make sure you to subscribe Drop us a thumbs up, it all helps a lot. And we'll see you guys next time. Yo!